Hey guys, so welcome to another segment where we're talking about our Pimp Your Packaging tips. And Pimp Your Packaging is the segment where we're giving you and sharing with you the ins and outs around packaging as part of your product launches and some effective project management so you know what's happening out here in these product development streets. So with this being stated, allow me to introduce myself. So my name is Megan Young Gamble. I am known as the Project Execution Her and Principal Consultant at Get Level Consulting. And we are a boutique operations management firm that provides packaging solution and project management expertise to brands that are in the personal care industry. So we can um, help you from conception to distribution to your retail shelf. So for this segment, we're actually going to have this as a series approach to talk about four main functions of product packaging. And so with each segment, I'm going to go a little bit in depth and give you the nuggets you need to know for each of these respective functions. So if you want to check out the remaining ones, they will actually be dripped and you'll have access to view them. And make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get um, the subscribe button as well as the bell notification so you do not miss any content. So let's actually talk about one of the main functions of packaging, which we're going to focus on today, which is containment or how to contain. So packaging is critical to every aspect of product development, as well as to ensure that you get the products to your consumer. And so with one of the main functions of packaging, which we're talking about containment in this video, allow me to share some context of what this means. So containment is to provide proper and safe container or place for keeping any product in an important function of your packaging. And so let's talk about this because containment pretty much means to provide proper and safe container or place for keeping your products. And so some examples of containment or how to contain your products from a packaging function standpoint is think about your favorite lotion, right? Um, when you get your favorite lotion, it's going to be either in a jar, in a bottle, or whatever type of packaging it may be in, right? And so when you actually are evacuating the product out of the jar, out of the bottle, excuse me, or if you're scooping the product out of the jar, the product, um, excuse me, the packaging that is housing that product is the container. It's helping to assure that it's properly storing the product and keeping it safe to keep the products intact or in place, okay? So that's an example of contain, uh, containment as one of the functions of packaging. Another example is think about some of the subscription box programs that you may have received or from a particular brand that may have multiple SKUs um, that they're shipping products out to. And if you open up some of the subscription boxes, they actually may have what's called inserts inside of it. So the inserts inside of some of these um, boxes actually has a die cut size to scale of their respective packaging item that is housing the product, okay? So remember, we're talking about containment. So it's housing that respective product um, inside of the inserts to help keep it in place for when it is being shipped out. So when you see the inserts and maybe having lip glosses or think about some of the bundle uh, collection sets that come out during holiday time that may have a shampoo and conditioner or may have a three-piece regimen for like a cleanser, a toner, and a moisturizer, et cetera, they are utilizing inserts to help keep the products intact in place when you are shipping out that product. So that's another example of containment as one of the main functions of packaging. And so with this being stated, you should be considering this as part of your product launches as well with the packaging focus. You need to be ensuring that you have the right packaging in place that is going to help properly store the products, which is going to be your lip glosses, your lotions, or whatever it may be, and also making sure that it helps keep it in place. So you have to think about the transportation of getting the products to and from different destinations so we can then reach your end consumer, okay? So with this being stated, make sure you tune in for the next um, series that is dropping where we're talking about the main functions of product packaging. This video for Pimp Your Packaging Tip, we were focused strictly on containment or contain, which is one of the functions of product packaging. So make sure you do leave a comment below. Let us know what you think. How are you actually containing your products from a product packaging standpoint? What things are you incorporating into your business model and your product-based product, uh, product based, uh, business as well to ensure that you're containing the products that's keeping them safe and help keep them in place as well? So we look forward to seeing your uh, correspondence down below in the comments, and we look forward to seeing you in the next series talking about the main functions of product packaging. So see you soon.